Hi guys, welcome to episode 13 of Best Mac Apps. Today we'll be showing you six best Mac apps for February 2018. Apologies for the delay because I have been very busy recently that I don't have time to post a new video regarding best Mac apps. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. The first app on the list is called Secret Folder. Yeah. As its name suggests, what this app does is it allows you to turn a folder into a secret folder by hiding it. Only people with the right password can unhide that folder. This is especially useful if you share your Mac with someone and you don't want him or her to check to see what's inside those folders. And as you can see, this is the look of the app. To hide a folder, you have to click plus sign here. And then you select folder from anywhere you like, let's say I have some folders on the desktop like this one I want to hide and you also can just drag and drop it for example like I have this folder also work you don't have to click add you just drag and drop it still works so right now I add this one Kindle books and this straw photos onto my secret folder app and to hide it you click here you say invisible invisible right now it's still visible that's why you still can see it if you don't want people to see it you just turn it on you see right now both of these folders have been hidden from my desktop and you can add as many as you want and also to make sure that no one can access these two folders you have to turn on password requirement by clicking here and they ask you to enter a new password let's say I type in So now it has been protected by password. If someone want to open secret folder app to find out what I have hidden they cannot open it. Let's see if we try to open this app again. So I open it. You see, it asked me to type in the password. So no one can access my secret folder app to see what has been hidden in it. So if you type the wrong password, it doesn't work. You will have to type the right password. And whenever you want to access your folder, you just turn it on to be visible and then you can access it. It's just as simple as that. So this app is very simple but very effective. You don't have to know any terminal commands. To be able to hide or unhide a folder, you just use this app, turn it off, and then you can just hide the folder that you don't want anyone to see. You turn it back on when you want it to be visible. Okay, this is app number one. Let's move on to app number two. App number two is called 5K Player. Here. What this app does is it allows you to play any high resolution video up to 5K. If you take a look at this website here, so with this 5K player, you can play any high resolution video up to 5K, especially the ones taken using your iPhone that you can record at 4K 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. You can also use this 5K player apps to play. And most importantly, it's a free app. So it not only become a video player, but if you go back here, this app can also allow you to airplay your iOS device screen to your Mac screen. Let me show you example here. So right now I'm mirroring my iPhone 6s screen. So I can do that too. And also you can play music, you can play DVD. If you have a DVD drive connected to your Mac. You can also watch YouTube video. And when you click on YouTube video, you can see here they say open browser to get video URL. Click paste and then the last button and click download, which means you can also download video directly from YouTube by using this app. So it, this app has multi functions, not just one. If you talk about VLC, you can only play video, but this one can play any kind of video, any format, and it also can download YouTube video as well. We try to go to YouTube. Let's say, look at this. I want to download it. I copy the link. Go back to the app and I click paste URL and analyzed. Now it start analyzing so you click here it will show this and this is the resolution so you can choose the option to download audio only or click here which means you want to download video and this is the size and it says here view all supported websites so not just youtube but here they tell you more websites that you can download video from it say more than a 300 plus sites video downloader but for this one you have to buy the pro version these are the sites that you can download a lot of it more than 300 so this is very cool and also the last thing that you can do with this app is you can also listen to the online radio by clicking here if you know the radios 
URL you can just type it in here and click play but these are the recommended one the example one so let's say I click on this click play okay you can see so it just played online radio for you as well by using this app you can listen to online radio and like I said I, this app can play video up to 5k I have one video here that is 5k video and try to play with this So for the copyrighted reason, I have to mute the sound. Look at the sharpness of the video, the video quality, it's all crystal clear. This is the 5K video. So with this app, you can play it with ease. But like I said, it does not just have one function, it has multiple functions. You can download YouTube videos, you can play videos, music, you can play DVD, you can airplay any iOS device directly to your Mac and also you can listen to online radio. And most importantly, this app is free. You don't have to pay for it. Okay, this is app number two. Let's move on to app number three. App number three is called Mitch here. What this app does is it allows you to watch any video games that people play online quickly and easily from your Mac. And there are a variety of games that you can choose to watch. In fact, you can watch every game and channel on Twitch. Browse top games and channels. You can also search for live content like you can see here. You can have a quick access to channels you're following. If you subscribe to a channel, you log in here with your Twitch account. When you subscribe to a channel, you can also see it quickly here. And you also get notifications when your favorite streamers go live. And another great thing is that you can chat while you're streaming video or watching games. So like you can see here, these are the channels of the game. This is the game itself, which game you like watching. You just click on it, you click play, it will start streaming. It also tells you the video quality. And as you can see on this side, you can also chat to other people while you are streaming the game. If you go to YouTube directly, you have to search for the game you want. But this one, it just categorizes everything in one place for you. It's easier to watch. You can watch any kind of game and chat at the same time. For YouTube, you cannot chat at the same time only if it is live. So you log in, you have a Twitch account, you can log in and then you will be able to chat. Like I said, you can watch your favorite games, any game like this one here so you can watch any gaming videos in fact any games that you like all kinds of games directly in one app this is really cool also it recommends you with all the games here sometimes if we don't know any games you can just come here and watch and see if it is interesting to play or not before you decide to play because maybe you don't know all the games that are being popular nowadays but by watching this they categorize it into different games with names on it so the one that you like you can download to play this is especially useful for novice player like me i never played lots of games so i do not know which game is the best to play but with this mitch app it just categorize all the games with the list like that so you can just click and watch and see what happened with the game to see if you like it you can download it to play later i mean if you're a gamer or you like playing games or you like watching game this is the best app for you okay this is app number three let's move on to app number four app number four is called live wallpaper hd here so as you can see what this app does is it allows you to run live wallpaper on your mac screen like this so it looks stunning and attractive this is live even the clock here at the background and the snow coming down you can also change by going to preferences you go to wallpaper you can change like snow if you're living in the country that has snow right now like this it looks so beautiful you can impress your friend with this live wallpaper it will keep running if i choose this one let's take a look at this here it's just like you're watching video but it's not it's just live wallpaper so with this you are able to impress your friend with the wallpaper that moves usually wallpaper doesn't move but with this it's really awesome you also have the clock here when you go to any app it just stay in the background go back it's still there it also shows you the weather the place where you are right now you can also select the hourly forecast as well it's awesome and again you can change the wallpaper to any you like you can see it's moving Take a look at this. Just choose the one that you like. As you can see. So you get the beautiful wallpaper. 
and also at the same time it's moving it's so cool and you have the option to hide the clock or to hide the weather it's up to you this app is free but uh, you want to get more wallpaper you have to buy it if you buy the pro version you can also customize this live wallpaper by using your own photo but if you use the free version you cannot do that and at the bottom here you can change it to Fahrenheit and miles per hour depending on your location like I said you will be able to impress people who take a look at your Mac screen they will ask you how could it be possible that your wallpaper moves this is very beautiful I think seeing the clock moving and seeing the sunset like that and the snow dropping like that is so beautiful so again this is just another way of customizing your Mac to make it look better whenever you're using your Mac okay this is app number four let's move on to app number five app number five is called download shuttle pro here I also used to review about download shuttle but at that time it was a free version but this time this is a pro version and the free and the pro version clearly have different interesting features to consider and what this app does is basically it is a download accelerator for your Mac it is the replacement for internet download manager that is only compatible with PC that's why this app come into play download shadow it's the Mac internet download accelerator or download manager so if you take a look at the difference between these two side by side this is the free version this is the pro version you can also change the color here so the free version is bigger, the pro version is smaller and the free version you have to copy the link and it will automatically place it here and then you can add to download that's only one option but with the pro version you can add direct URL download just like the free version but also you can scan a website for downloads this is a new one that only exists in the pro version if you don't like the pro version you can just download the free version it is available in the app store but this is another interesting thing that you might consider the pro version because you can scan a, a website for any download link some website they only allow you to stream a video they won't allow you to download that video so it's not possible for you to download it if you use the free version of download shadow if you want to download a video that they only allow you to stream you can use the pro version and the link that you want to find any streaming video like we have this one here this video you can only watch it you cannot download it and you copy the link here you paste it here It scan that video for you and it, down here you see here they have this one you want to download it you just tick here and you click add selected and now we start downloading it something like that so this is the pro version the advantage of pro version you can scan any website for download even though it doesn't allow you to download you can still download it using this app and the free version you cannot do that but again it's up to you to decide if you want to use the free version or the pro version okay this is app number five let's move on to the last app of the list the last app of the list is called default folder acts here Basically what this app does is it allows you to have a full access to all your files and folders including the root system files and the hidden files directly on your status bar without you having to open the finder. You can see here this is the icon of the default folder X. Click on it. You can access any files directly from your status bar. Anything you have hidden anywhere you can access all of it in one place home application anything even inside your apps any files there you can also access it so this is the caliber library I have all the books here and it just give me the access to all the files formats and everything so you can find anything here whatever hidden or whatever root files you have in your Mac you can access all of it you go to favorite you have here everything and again you can access anything you want you can if you go to your hard drive you can access all applications here your library you can access any root file system whatever it is you can see all of it you can access all of the system files which is very convenient in fact you have full control of all the files and everything in your Mac you can access all of it in one place just directly from your status bar you don't have to go to the finder to find those and also even though you go to finder you cannot find all the files in one place like that the hidden file you have to go to different folders which is very complicated but with this you can access anything 
it's just right at your fingertip it's just in one place it's very convenient like caliber library it's usually it's not possible for me to access it unless i go to preference and find the location of it but with this it just provide me all the access i can check any files and folders i want which is very convenient and very useful okay that's it guys these are six best mac apps as of february 2018 thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video